Josh Howard here for uh, Deep South Charters out of Venice, Louisiana, and uh, we're doing a field report for Louisiana Sportsman. Today we was uh, really wanted to go catch some tuna. Everybody in Venice wants to catch tuna, but uh, the waves had other plans. A little bit rough out here, as I told you last time, but we've been out here catching some barrel fish on electric reels. We've been catching some amberjack. We've got this is the smallest one in the box. All of them are huge today. We uh, did, did well. The uh, amberjack you catch good on, on live bait. We had live buggies. And uh, if you can get some hardtail, we're starting to see some hardtail around the rigs. Uh, some big ones, you can get big hardtail like that. And uh, you can put them on a big, a big uh, about a 10, 12 ounce circle hook and do well. And, uh, grab this one in right here. Doing some deep dropping. Bow fish is some, some of the best eating you're going to get right here. You can get those on a, on a uh, deep drop rig. Squid is. Uh, bait of choice for the barrel fish, but you can also catch a grouper 600 to 800 foot of water uh, most of the time, even as, as shallow as four or 500 for, for some of the deep water grouper. But uh, the barrel fish, you're going to catch those uh, in places that's six to 800, 900 foot of water. Um, you have to find the, the depth. You have to kind of go down, go down, go down and find the depth. But uh, these little critters right here, you don't see them very often at the dock, but uh, some of the best eating fish you'll find. And uh, I think this whole weekend, it's probably going to be shot. The, uh, the wind and the waves are, uh, are pretty bad. But uh, next week, we'll be back at it. Yellowfin tuna gonna be back in action. Again, live pogies, probably can find uh, in the, uh, the Delta area there. And uh, anywhere around the passes. I know you got some around Empire, probably had a uh, Fouchon Grand Isle. You have some, some pogies, you'll see them on, on, the, on the water. You can get them with a cast net. Uh, if, you can, if you don't have that, then uh, you know, of course, you can, you can definitely catch the tuna with chunks of black fin, you catch a barracuda, cut that dude up. He worked just as good. Uh, if you don't have that, then uh, get your flat of frozen pogies. And, uh, and and that'll do just as good sometimes. And sometimes you can, you can jig for some black fin and use that. Also on the amberjack, you can't find live bait. Jigs work really well. You can get a, a vertical jig. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like the ones with the J hooks opposed to any kind of treble hooks. Other than that, it doesn't matter. You drop down, fish the up current side. Most of the time, that's where you're going to find your action. And uh, you drop that dude down probably uh, about two, 300 foot and, and jig it all the way back up to the surface. So just make sure you got some good braid on there, good hard drags, and, uh, and you'll be able to drag it away from the, from the rig a little bit with the boat because they will get you in there. But uh, plenty, plenty of action right now. You can't get to tuna. Uh, you have amberjack season's open right now. Snapper season will be open for too long.